everybody. Welcome to the Nobody Likes Onion Show. My name's Patrick. I'm back from Europe and uh, Boise, Idaho. And I just wanted to say it's great to be back in Las Vegas. And even better to have missed the entire summer in Las Vegas. It got up to 125 degrees on some days. And I wasn't here to enjoy it, which I'm glad about. And uh, now I'm back for at least three months without having to leave my apartment. I'm not having anything that's not delivered. Everything will be brought on horseback or Uber to me. Uh, Welcome back to the show, my children of my corn. Canadian comedian Brad Bryans is joining me tonight here in the studio. Hi, Brad. Hello, Patrick. Uh, I met Brad in uh, Ed- Edin- Edin- Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Ed- 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 Edinburgh. Believe, I believe it's Edinburgh. Uh, uh, for the uh, Fringe Festival. We were both doing some shows. Mm-hmm. Your first uh, Fringe. First Fringe. How did that go? It was interesting. Yep. It was. Uh... Did you make money? Does anybody make money at the Fringe? I made money. This is my first year making money. Did you actually? Yeah. Holy heck. I think I've cracked it. I think... Uh, but I, but it's my third year. My first year making money. Well, you know what they say. Three out of one ain't bad. You know what they say. Uh, if you're bigger, you can intimidate people more when you beg for money at the end. That's true, too. And, and that's, I just, that's the thing I don't have down is the begging. You gotta, the you begging? Gotta bag, yep. What's uh, comedy? Believe it or not, I've never even stepped foot in Canada. I don't blame you. Um, no offense. I don't blame you. I've been to Mexico, and I'd much rather, rather live in Canada than Mexico. Oh, buenas noches, amigo. But uh, what is comedy like up there? What are you in Canada? Yeah. Well, all the famous Canadian comedians. Where are they now? Are they? No. Where, no. Where, where are they now? I don't know. Who's your most famous comic? In Canada? Well, that's come out of Canada. That's come out. I of imagine Canada? anybody who's made it left. That's what I mean. That's what I'm trying to say. The old uh, Jimmy Carey. You know Jim Carey? Heard of him? Jimmy Carey, yeah. Old Jimbo. Yeah. Yeah, he's from Canada, not too far from my home. But he doesn't actually. do stand-up anymore. He doesn't? No. All right. When was the last up. time you saw a Jim Carey stand-up special? I think makes it was no sense. 87 or something. Exactly. But he, start, he started doing stand-up. A stand-up comedian that came yeah. here? Tom Green. Just did the Harris, Las Vegas. Does he do stand-up? He... Gets, yeah, he, he never did stand up back in Canada. That's where he started, Ottawa. But he didn't do stand up, did he? He was just doing wild, wacky no, cable no, no, news. No, no, he started at uh, Yuck Yucks, Canada. He did not. Yes, he did, man. Doing stand up. Okay, how about this one? Norm Macdonald. Heard of him? Yeah, he's huge. Same town. Tom Green started. Okay, at. well, that's a real comic doing that's stuff. A, yep, Norm Macdonald. Have you seen his Netflix show? I haven't heard good things though. So. What did you hear good? <laughs> I heard it's. Uh, some quality comedy. It's rough. Is it really? It's weird. It feels like there's no start and no end. Well, it's that's... almost like this podcast is going to feel. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to the Nobody Likes Science program. It's been a while. You uh-huh. know, I got back in. Uh, we were supposed to do this earlier this afternoon. Now it's late at night and I'm sh- shoveling scotch down your mouth. Yeah, it happens. It's tough yep. for you Canadians. Yes. Sorry I didn't have any Canadian club. No Canadian club. No. Do you drink that? Sure do. Um, but I, here's what didn't work when I've gotten home from here. I was gone from July to October. Yep. My refrigerator that's in here, and I know that's some real white people problem shit. Oh, my second refrigerator. That's tough. But this is for guests. When we do like longer podcasts, you want a water, you want a beer. Yeah, yeah I've got That's warm convenient. Water I think that's a nice gesture to have. That's very nice. For people. Yep, I didn't notice it. But I know when you complain about your second fridge breaking, it's kind of yeah. like, oh, tell me your problems. That's pretty tough. But, but uh, I come home, this thing's t- totally blown. Did you leave it plugged in? Yeah. That's a bad idea. Well, I left it plugged in. It's a refrigerator. Yeah, that's a terrible. You got to unplug your appliances. You unplug all your appliances? Everything. What are you, run, are you pulling your stove out? <laughs> You're like unplugging Everything. your microwave. It's Whoa. built into the cabinets. That's You're three, unplugging it. Three months is a long time just to have it running. You unplugging your dishwasher? How do you even get back there? I don't even have a dishwasher. Do them by hand. But what if you did? I'd unplug everything. I Three have months. one. His name's Pedro, and I unplugged him. <laughs> wow. 
Well, he's he's down. No, I can't be well. unplugging yeah, appliances. You know, that's what you got to do. You can't. I mean, I turned off the computers. Well, Canada's electricity is through the roof, so that's probably why it's different down here. Maybe everything in Canada is through the roof of the United States. Get it? Because you're geographically speaking. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I've got but this. Sorry com- about your fridge. I've got this computer, uh, this Mac, uh, on its last legs. It's crawling. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with it. I can't broadcast with it. Oh Lord. So now I'm on a Windows computer, which, God uh, forbid, that be my last... I usually don't do podcasts on Windows. But I know. I know. Are, it's very embarrassing to have are, somebody come in here times and you tough. see a Microsoft logo. I was thinking about this today. Where, where did Microsoft go? Billy Gates? I feel like 10 years ago, everybody was passed around CDs in Microsoft Office. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's very true. And now, when was the last time you even thought about Microsoft? It's been a while. Maybe uh, you see it maybe when your computer starts up. Yeah, that's you're not thinking it's about Microsoft. Mac. It's all Macs. Unless you have an Xbox, maybe they're calling it the Mac Attack. Do you have a Mac? No. Kay. Or a Microsoft. I got a. You don't have a Mac or a Microsoft. Le- Lenovo. What's it called? An IBM Lenovo. Lenovo. Is that Microsoft? It used to be IBM, but then they spun off into their own. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's a broke. Windows it's broke. machine. It's broke. It's broken. It's broke. No, like my second refrigerator. <laughs> so uh, what are we doing? We're we gonna I raise got, money for. I got an iMac. No, I'm just letting you know. Like then I come in here. I don't know if the sound is even working right. The bars are moving. The okay. bars are moving, but what does that tell you about anything? I don't know. I, this is very technical stuff. I'm, I'm not... seven minutes into this podcast. I'm ready to end it. Already? Yeah, I'm, I've had enough. I took a cab here. Should I drink more? Oh, That's a good idea. I took a cab here. It's expensive. That's sad. Twenty buckaroos. 20 bucks. You took a standard cab? Yeah, I've got Why this aren't Ameri- you doing the Uber well, Lyft I've, thing? I've got this American money. I'm going back to Canada tonight, eh? So yeah, you're burning it. I figured just burn it. Just Why don't you gamble it? Why don't you put it all on red? I was gambling. That's what I was doing at the Stratosphere. And you, what'd you lose? 15 bucks. How much are you playing a hand on blackjack? 250 They have $2.50 no, 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 no. blackjack? $5 hands. I was playing, I don't know. I was at Caesars for a bit. Yeah, I was gambling, doing some gambling. $15 worth. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a bargain hunter. You're the guy with two fridges. You're what are you, probably playing you're 20, the guy with two fridges. You're probably doing $20 hands. I'm not for long. No. I'm putting it up for sale. The fridge? Anybody interested in a secondhand uh, mini fridge? It's probably good for scrap metal Makes or something. ice, I think. My uncle take that, scrap metal. Could I get something for that? I'd say a good... Because I'm just going to throw it over my balcony into the oh, pool. Oh, God. We should film that. That'd I got it. For a podcast. I got back here. So I lived here for a year now, and I get back here, and they're like, "We're going to raise your rent two hundred dollars a month." Oh lord! Which seems like an unfair hike. That's quite a bit. But also, I, then I go like, "Well, I'm not going to commit to a new lease." So they go, "Oh, that's fine," but then it's a hundred dollars extra a month to go month to month. So now we're talking three hundred extra dollars a month. I got to get out of here, right? I'm thinking about renting a U-Haul. I have a lot of lights. I can build it out nice. No, no, no. That's what about a camper? Have you ever seen a tiny around? house? You know, you know what the solution to that problem is? What? Unplug your appliances when you leave, and it won't be you so think expensive. You, what do you think my electric bill was while I was gone? I'm going to say three thousand dollars. Twenty something dollars. Twenty dollars. Yeah. Man, you guys got a good down here, eh? Solar, solar power. That's what it is. Solar power. No, it's because I wasn't here running the air conditioner all summer. That's true too. Like, I missed the months where my AC would have to be cranking well, 24-7. It's a little warm in here now, but the AC's not even on. It's not bad. It's I'll nice. You, you got a U-Haul, though. There's what gonna about be no, nowhere can, Like a Winnebago. What are you going to do? That park, sounds like a Canadian park company. <laughs> park it out in the desert or something? What are you going to do? Yeah, I take it on tour. Just With all this stuff? Show up at people's house. Yeah. Microphones? Campers? You don't think you can fit a microphone in a camper? This is pretty... Well, you hit a couple bumps, next thing you know, knocks your Oh, we off. bolt it all down. Bolt it I've down. thought of everything. That's pretty smart. We're going to get what? cushy tires. All the power to you. Cushy we won't, tires. We'll also never take it off-road. That's not a bad idea, actually. U-Haul. No, I'd, I'd stay stationary. Satellite you internet service. Here, man. I'd stay here. This place is five-star, Let me man. tell you what this place is. It's five stars. My neighbors, God rest their Mexican souls, they're still alive, so I don't know why they need to rest. <laughs> Be more Mexican. I don't know what's happening over there. What do you mean? Well, it's already like there's 15 of them. They're from Germany or something? In, in a two-bedroom place. 
Like, I see them coming in and out of that place like clown cars. That sounds pretty Mexican. And then on their porch, they've stored garbage. And you're going to say, Patrick, only an insane person would do this. Okay. I've taken a picture, sometimes several pictures a day, yeah. of their pile of garbage on their balcony. Because they are too lazy to, like, walk the trash through the dumpster. Sounds so they insane. pile it up and let it build up. Yeah, yeah. Until the breaking point, and then they take it. And the birds come. So I've taken a picture from the same angle, the same way, every day for a year. Yeah. That's and I want to make this into like a flip book, <laughs> coffee table book <laughs> that I hilarious. sell. And then people will get a vote at the end. Who's more insane? My neighbors for doing that or me for visually tracking it and Ooh, filling out my cloud storage? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say nah, that's tough. That's a tough call. I say do it. Definitely do it. I'm talking about hot and ready boxes oh, from Little Caesars. No, not Caesars. Piles of trash cans. Oh, the trash On cans. Christmas, it was the worst. Just boxes of Trees? monster trucks and... Monster trucks? And now they have just a broken vacuum cleaner sitting out there. What are they doing? I don't know. What, where are these neighbors? I didn't see any neighbors around here. Oh, it's hidden. I thought this was your whole... I have to zoom 7.9x. Isn't it crazy that I know that? 7. I have to zoom in 7.9 because I want these photos to be consistent. Yeah, of course. Sounds like you put a lot of thought I've, into this. I'm kind of insane. That's a pretty good, you know, try it out, see what happens. But you know, you need hobbies. People say if you get bored, you'll do heroin. Is that what they say? <laughs> That's why I took if up gambling. somebody says it. That's why I took up gambling. To get rid of the drug no, inclinations? No, I, I wouldn't have any money for the heroin. Um, did you drink a lot in Edinburgh? I drank damn near every day. You have to. Every day. Do you, is that where a lot of the money goes, you think? Drinking and eating? Yeah. Well, we didn't, like I said, you know, we didn't do as well as you, obviously, but uh, all the money definitely went to Ubers and, and booze. Ubers turning and booze. you up because you got quiet. Did I get quiet? Sometimes I do that. you get a little sad when you I thought about the money? Mad. Yeah, I thought of it, the drinking. Also, a lot of from Canada, what's a Canadian dollar to a British pound? Oh, there, you want to get me more quiet? Because I'll stop talking here. Is it really soon. bad? It's horrible. Is it like half? It's like two to one, yeah. No. I swear to God. No. I swear to the queen. Oh, I thought we had it rough. Oh, dude. It's horrible. That was, that was the biggest, you know, problem to go in there was the flight. I think the flight was pretty cheap. I always book not my flight you, about three months out, and it's like 600 bucks round trip. You're smart. Canadians, we got three grand. Three Se grand? Second class. Australian, though. No, I'm just messing with you. But yeah, the pound, I don't know what's going on over there, but... You had to pay three grand for a flight for no, real? No, no, I'm just joking. Two? I'm just joking. Probably, no, it's probably the same as you, 700. Yeah. But once you get there, cup of coffee, you know, three four pounds, pounds. Three pounds, four pounds. What do they got? They got the Costa. But they have good coffee over there, eh? Americanos? Costa? Costa's no. not that Costa's great. shit. Co okay, well, you ever heard of Tim Hortons? You want another problem with Costa? What's that? You want to act like I haven't thought about this before? <laughs> Please tell me. First of all, I'm an iced latte guy. Oh, Lord. Now, why do you say, oh, Lord, to that? An iced latte? You well, I didn't what? say it with a Canadian accent. <laughs> you sound like you auditioned for Super Troopers, too. I wish I did. Think they would have taken me? Took yeah. Me? Taken this? me? Yeah. Took him. Token. Think they would have taken me? No, Costa has, first of all, I like an iced latte. That's not a gay drink. So don't no, roll no, your no. eyes. Oh, no, I know. I did not. No, did that's not what you there. were implying Lord, when you were an no. old lord. No, 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 no. You were like, oh, here's faggot Patrick with well, his. And I, I use that term. I would never. And I use that term to mean not gay. I would never. But super gay. <laughs> no, what I said was coffee is supposed to be hot. I know, but when you're picturing an iced latte, I know you're picturing caramel and mocha and whipped cream. That's not what an iced latte is. All right. An iced latte is just a latte with ice. Milk and coffee, milk and espresso yep. with ice in it. I'm not getting syrup and caramel. Okay, so just back off those. All right, all right, all right. Because what you're picturing in your mind is me in women's underwear no. <laughs> <laughs> prancing up to a Starbucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell him my name is Patricia. <laughs> Please give and me my coffee. I like my Iced. extra whipped cream and nuts. You know what I heard? They put <laughs> yeah. more more ice in there than anything else. You're just paying for a half cup of ice. Well, this is the problem with Costa. Costa uses those beads of ice. Oh, not the beads. The tiny beads. Oh, God. 
Which is the worst for coffee because they're just going to melt super quick. Yep, yep. So that's my big problem. Speaking of ice, where did you get these things here? Oh, these are my ice balls? That's a whole snow cone, right? Are those nice? We call these snowballs in Canada, eh? It's the most efficient shape that melts the slowest when you have a nice really? whiskey. You know what you should do? Save the, you should sell those to Save to those or sell those? S- save them and sell then the, sell them. Save the used ones? Save them and then sell them to Costa because they need them by the sounds of it. First of all, I know that you're just fucking with me when you say that. No, I ain't. But that's the kind of idea and innovation I've been looking for at this company. Well. You're hired. I want I want 10%. Cancel your flight. 10%. You're on the board. Yeah, I got to fly in, what, five hours? What time is it? Uh, yeah, don't worry about hours. that. Just have some more scotch. Oh, yeah. Great last words. Um, so you got to fly back to Toronto tonight? Going back to Toronto, yeah. Now, how's the comedy scene in Toronto? I don't know a lot of Toronto uh, guys. I know tricks. Tricks? You know tricks? I don't know tricks. You don't know black tricks? Black tricks. I've heard some black tricks. My name is Black Tricks Melton. <laughs> black tricks. Uh, no, I've been warned about black tricks. Pardon me? You don't know tricks? No, I don't know tricks. I don't even know his real name. Well. He just goes by tricks with two X's. He works here all the time. Are you sure he's not rapping? That sounds like a rapper's name. First of all, let's go over how many comedian black comedians' names sound like rappers' names. Okay. Sinbad. That's a good rap name. Any black comic that's gone down to the one name, it's because of rap culture. It's like you wanted to, it's like on some level, I feel like Madonna wanted to be breakdancing. Oh, she was breakdancing. Cher, come on. Cher? Yeah, that's I think true. she just that's thought true. that's how you say hair. <laughs> um, anyway, what uh, was Tron- I saying? Toronto comedy? Yeah. Good scene? Uh, Shit scene? Nah. It's mm, in tough. depth. It's interview. a tough. It's a tough. It's a great place to start. Great place to start. How long have you been doing it? Just over two years. Okay. Great place to start. But everyone comes down here or over there. Do you fly direct to Toronto from Vegas? Yep. One shot. One shot. And how hard are they at the border there? No, they're great. They're great going there. But to coming, you. coming across, holy heck. Actually, they weren't too bad. They, they harassed Holy my buddy. Holy heck. Yeah, I don't, that's, These aren't real expressions. <laughs> that's how I curse. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm, Christian, I'm a Christian man. I've seen your set. You're not. Have you? <laughs> oh, I took that from Black Tricks. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah, it's a great place to start. Toronto's great. Lots of open mics. Lo- loads. It, loads. How's money for comedy in Canada? Oh, Lord. Holy that's heck. That's probably why I haven't been. Yeah, honestly, it's tough. Not worth it's it? Tough biz. Plus, I heard your money's worth like half of a pound. <laughs> he told you that the guy must have been drunk. Yeah, but uh, no, don't don't get me wrong. There's a lot of lot of talent. Don't get me, like tons of talent in Toronto. There's a lot of talent. A lot of talent. A lot of people. You know, doing just for laughs. Heard of that festival? I'm surprised I've you haven't heard done of it. That. Yeah, they isn't that Montreal? That's in Montreal. Well, they got in Toronto now too. But, yeah, but just uh, for laughs in Toronto. Here's the thing: you you can see yeah, you can see the people doing just for laughs, right? And then, you know, a week later, you go to an open mic down at a, a golf course or something, we'll say. Maybe a coffee house. I don't know. But they'll be doing an open mic, and they just did just for laughs. So the pros and the amateurs, they can really mix and mingle. Eh? There's not much of a, a gap. What's the deal with that hem tortens? I, come again, please. The hem tortens coffee? <laughs> <laughs> hem tortens? Yeah. Oh, you got the you got the T's and the H's mixed up. Oh, right? Ti- Timothy Horton. T- Timothy. Yeah. He's uh, it's a I've never been to one of these, and you they have them in New York now. They have them in New York, not down here though, eh? No. No, you're better off. Tim Horton. Isn't this supposed to be a magical place? Is it supposed to be the best thing ever? I have a lot of Canadian on, questions I need answered. Today. Yes, please. Yes, ask away. Well, it's all we got. It's all we got, and sometimes you got to hold on to what you got. And Tim, Timothy. Is it good? It's you know how like people bad. go it's nuts for Dunkin' Donuts coffee here? They yeah, act yeah. like it's the best coffee in the world. And they didn't have them here on the West Coast for a long time. Now they're starting to pop up slowly. Yep. But people would like have the coffee boxes of it mailed. Like not boxes of like coffee beans. Like the pre-made coffee that they sell in a box like Cube yeah, yeah. to go to like a work site or oh, a yeah, church yeah. meeting. Yeah, they got those in Canada. Too, yeah, yeah, they'll ship take, those take to that. relatives back west. What? You know how much it costs to ship a box of water? Couldn't imagine. 
Thirty-eight dollar dues. <laughs> nope. Uh, so is it like that where people are like, they, yeah, it's my honestly, Tim Hortons coffee or nothing? The drive-throughs are just outrageous. Yeah, but I heard you guys do that thing where you go like, uh, you go, I'm gonna pay for the coffee for the guy behind me, and then they do the pay it forward thing. Well, that's that's constant. You're constantly paying for the guy behind you because it's the person in front of you. Is, is that real? You. That's real. That's as real as That's gets. real. That's happening right now. You know what happens? I can't tell if you're fucking with me or no, not. Because it seems like an can- insane it's, land. It's a Canada thing, man. Always pay for the guy behind you. Always look out for the guy behind and thank the guy in front. What if the guy in front of you didn't pay for yours? No. It, now, do you stop the chain or do you have to re-kick off the chain? That's outrageous. That The chain never, never breaks. You're so fucking with me. <laughs> have you ever years. seen this happen or no? I, yeah, I do it all the time. You really? You'll pay for the guy behind you? Oh, yeah. Tim and Jim and Slim. Will you stop fucking me? <laughs> what, what's the real story here? Oh, I don't know. If you're feeling friendly, you know, the sun's out. Have you had somebody buy your coffee? Of course. Small towns, man. I'm from a small town, you know? Really? You didn't, couldn't tell? I can't tell. I still don't know if you're serious. No, I'm, what do you think I'm saying? People are saying Costa Detroit? Blows. Costa, yeah. Vince, that, I agree. I agree. Vincent Van Doe. Is that a nickname for me? Vincent Van Doe. Yeah. That's a pretty badass name. Costa sucks, yep. Tim Hortons, it's hit or miss. No, I'm, you've honestly, uh, swear on the Bible, on, your, oh, on Lord, God's you, you good never, name. You never swear to the Lord. Well, I don't Come have on, a Bible I'm a Christian here man. Anyway. We're talking about coffee and Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Two totally different things. Okay. But yeah, it happens. It happens. Not every day there. <coughs> and the worst is when you're feeling nice and you say, you know what, I'll, I'll pay for the guy behind me. And they're like, oh, well, the they're getting two dozen donuts bags, to go. Yeah, the bagels. Oh, they're outrageous. A bagel? Bagels are expensive. You calling it a bagel? What do you call it? Bagel? Bagel. Bagel. That's a bagel. You never heard of a bagel? With the cream cheese, sesame seeds, and the bagels. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we got those. That's a Canadian thing, I guess. Bagel, bagel. No, I'm pretty sure it's a Jewish thing. You know it's a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Canadians no Jews, invented no Jews, bagels. No Jews in Canada. Bagels um, and boggles. And then you guys are, next Wednesday, a week from today, weed is legal there. Marijuana, finally. And you're not into this, though? You don't smoke I used the weed? To, you know, back in, uh, back in my heyday, I used to roll around in the hay. Did you used to call day. it hay? <laughs> I used to call it hay. You used Rolling to uh, hay. smoke weed, but not anymore. I used to talk to, talk well, to you're Reefer. You're young. You're 28. I'm almost 28. Thanks yeah. for asking. In a week, or one month. Yeah. What's today? The 8th? I'll be the 20. 10th. Today's the 10th? Yeah, I'm, I'm 28 on the 8th of November, yep. But yeah, oh, I used we're to. both Scorpios. Oh, really? I'm 11-11. Oh, shit. By the way, some listener named Chad sent me a $120 Amazon gift card for my birthday. For books? That was very good. For reading books? Amazon has more than just books now, Grandpa. Oh, I didn't know. I'm from Canada. What if they had a commercial like that? <laughs> like they were the trying grand? to educate people into what Amazon had now? Amazon Prime? I thought Amazon was just a bunch of textbooks. <laughs> Grandpa, that's 1999 Amazon. <laughs> they have iPods now. Do they? Holy No, cow. nobody has iPods anymore. They don't? Do What do you I keep your know. music on? Me? Wax cylinder? <laughs> no, I play, I play the spoons. Play the spoons. Canada burn, everybody. But, uh, yes, marijuana. Yeah. It's going to be legal. It's legal. When, was it, when did it get legalized here? Everyone's smoking the marijuana. Vegas has been two years. Has it two years? I think. People are just walking around. And fried. Um, just fried. <laughs> yeah. Just my baked. tolerance is shot because I haven't really done. I didn't really do any in Europe, and uh, and I got back here and just had like two ounces. Two ounces right away. Sitting around. No, just, just like sitting here. Sitting around. Holy shit! When your fridge? They went out on top yeah, of my man. fridge. Yeah. On top of it was it. But because I, I buy it in bulk when the price is right. Yeah, that sounds pretty. And it comes in like a zip sealed, vacuum sealed thing. It's not like it's gonna go bad. No, that's true. We yeah. doesn't. We doesn't go bad. I don't know. Can man. it go bad? I mean, no. Because no, there's no. Can pills yeah. go bad? You know, they put an expiration date on it, but that's just to get you to buy more earlier. That's true. They should put drugs should don't go that. bad. Everybody keep eating drugs and keep drinking milk. A lot of people don't know this. Milk does not go bad. Patrick Melton, get out of town. Milk? Milk does not go bad. I'll tell you something. If you it does some not milk sour. You've never fridge. had bad milk. I have. Lumpy milk. No, 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 no. Your parents have fed you lies and you're, you're having I've an implanted it. memory. You ever seen Total Recall? No. You've been implanted. 
You've been with, activated. With lumpy milk. I think it was going to be implanted. You've never so had right. bad milk. It doesn't go bad. It's not a real thing. This is a lie. I'll tell you something. If you left... By Crooked milk, Hillary. I agree. I agree she's crooked. But if she were to say that, if you left milk in that fridge, unplugged... Oh, in this fridge, because it's a bad fridge. But if we had a good fridge, milk would never go bad. Really? Yeah, no, not I really. I don't know. None of these are facts. Uh, yeah, I I'm an think insane so. person. I didn't think so because I've just been some babbling lumpy, into a microphone for 15 years. Lumpy, I'm having a great time. This people is great. still believe me. This is high class. Um, uh, oh, my phone's ringing. We're getting a very important call. To the landlord? <laughs> oh, no. It's garbage day tomorrow. This is uh, comedian Roy Johnson. Hello? So, hey, where am I calling? Here? Yeah, you can just call here. You're already on, so why not? All right. Well, that's something you wanted to ask me about. Yeah, I just wanted to do a quick intervention. Sorry, you're on uh, with Canadian comedian Brad Bryant's. How you doing, Roy? I know. He's very mellow. Yeah, anyway. Very well. Uh, I, I'm sorry to bring the show down like this and to interrupt with this, but. Um, what do you call me? What's. He said you're mellow? Oh, mellow. Yeah. Thanks, man. Uh, Roy, what the fuck are you doing on social media? You want to back it down? Me? Mm-hmm. No, a, man. Everything's content. I got to give a, a just an intervention here. For guys who take selfies. You ever taken selfies, Brad? Get out of town. My phone doesn't do that. I'm not saying I won't take one, but I better be, you know, doing something funny like dying. Yeah. <laughs> And and that one doesn't pertain to you, Roy, so I don't want you to get upset at that. Number two, sports posting constantly. We get it. You're a Yankees fan. You need to relax. Well, the season's over, so, yeah. Today's a, the dark day. I don't um, even know what happened, but I'm glad it did. You need to get over yourself and your Yankees <laughs> pride. Yeah. Okay. You need to get over your pictures. You're I mean, you've had, you've had, you've posted like thirty posts in the past twenty four hours about the Yankees, and you gotta let it go. Well, yeah, they lost last night. The season's over. Yeah, no, but you're, you've posted as recently as twenty eight minutes ago. No, I didn't. Well, I just that was a complete bluff. But either way. Nice <laughs> <laughs> Um, and the last one. You know, I get that you're recently single and now you've moved into your own place, but you need to either fuck Diane or stop flirting with her over your Facebook. It's really hard to watch. Oh, I'm doing all right, bro. Okay. Well, you know, I feel like a lot of this could have been done privately, but then we wouldn't have reached the same conclusion. <laughs> yes, exactly. I could address the situation a little more in depth, but I'm not going to on the radio. No, I, you don't need to, but I'm encouraging everybody to go to Roy Johnson's Facebook and just look at the embarrassing, you know, teenage girl type Facebook wall we're, look, we're looking at. I know you don't know him, Brad, well, but it's sad. No, it's all good. You know what, dude? <laughs> I spent the last four years in a fucking god awful stifling relationship where I was forced to be somebody I wasn't. I am who I am. So I have a good time. I post some shit. I post a lot of shit on the Looney Bin stuff. We got a lot of uh, content we're starting to put out. And, oh God! Uh, you know what? I, you know what? Comedy clubs need to make more of content. <laughs> and we've rebuilt the whole club. Got new lights, new computers, the new fucking showroom. Okay, what is this? A long wow. ad? This isn't some of the content you're allowed to put out. Let me just tell you something. I'll be at your quinceanera whenever it is. Send me an invitation. <laughs> Wow, I thought I knew how to not get booked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Looney Bin, Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'll be there someday. Yeah, hey man, the Looney Bin Comedy Club. It'll turn your career around. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> no, it won't. It Let barely turns my bank account from... When I worked there, it barely turns my bank account from negative to positive. Yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah, so we're doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm sure you're doing great. Thank Welcome you for calling. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm great. 
can the Canadian guy say the name of the drink you drink? The ice latte? Can he say it again? <laughs> The uh, the ice latte, the ice latte. Yeah, I mean, he said it better earlier. <laughs> ice latte. Yeah, you, put, you, put, you, you put me on the spot. He really did make you sound like a, a princess. Ice latte. No, I don't know. I'm Again, sorry. you're the one posting on a Facebook like a princess every twenty minutes. Yeah. Hey, it is what it is. You're you're tweeting before you eat. <laughs> like I can't. What are you doing? I'm having a good time. Okay. Well. Stop watching Oprah and taking estrogen and the, me... uh, the returns on the shit I've been doing lately have been positive, so I'm all right with it. Okay. Well that's all I know it might make you cringe. Um there's been many times uh where I've made you go, What is wrong with you? <laughs> and this is just another one of those, Patrick. Okay, Roy, we'll talk later. Bye. Good luck with Diane, buddy. Yeah, good luck with Diane. Oh, that's good. That's great. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry for that sidetrack. I didn't mean for that to happen. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? Asians are uh, getting worse at fitting in. A lot of these, these do sound racial. But yeah, what I mean by that where is... Where did that thought come from? Yes. Uh, when I got home from uh, London, I flew from London to Charlotte... Charlotte to here. So it was like a 17-hour trip with a layover. Mm -hmm. I was tired and hungry. It was 11 p.m. I ordered Chinese food. They come to the door. <laughs> now, you're already laughing, which means you know it's something weird. I don't know. Here's what I want people to start doing and putting in our Facebook group. Nobody likes onions.com slash Facebook. Please start filming Asian people eating things. <laughs> Why? I'll tell you why. <laughs> the same reason I take a photo of my neighbor's balcony every day full of trash. Madness. It's madness? I want to see how, you, how Asian people eat different foods. Well, the I posted on my Instagram earlier this year, probably January, yeah. uh, an Asian guy eating two McDonald's hash browns. The chopsticks? No. But... With it falling out of his mouth as he ate, as if he'd never chewed before. Like, I watched him eat soft potato cakes. Like this. Like, just, and it just falling. Well, maybe he just got a and feeling And he got through one, and he started another one, and I go, this has to be seen by the world. Yeah. And I filmed it. But I, I've since seen Asians eat three or four more other food items where I go, like, this is what alien, if aliens came down... Yeah. And took on human form. They're Asians. And had to act like they were human, mm -hmm. but had never eaten. This is what an alien would act like eating. Well, maybe they just... Uh, Have you ever seen the cone heads? No. Me neither. Maybe they just had some dental work done? So what happened with the Asian delivering the food? So she comes up. And when I say she... A woman. Ancient. So her... Him towards. Yeah, she comes up, she hands me the food, and she just starts bowing. Yeah, what's wrong with that? That's, that's I don't saying. know whether I'm supposed to bow. Of course. Or not. You all oh, what do you mean, of course? She was probably bowing for you because you weren't bowing back. <coughs> you got to bow to the bow. Doesn't it feel racist to bow? It feels racist not to bow where I'm from. But if, you, but if you're not meant to bow and you bow... That's super. But there's never, oh. there's never, there's never a situation where you're not meant to bow. Always bow. Uh, Always bow. When you meet who? When was the last time you bowed? I bowed in Edinburgh, 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 Edinburgh. I was handing out uh, pamphlets, flyers. Yeah, I'd be handing out flyers, pamphlets. And I was bowing. I was bowing every day. I doubt it. I was bowing to everybody, and they took it. They took it. You know how a lot of people just walk by? But if you bow. I don't think you bowed. They say, I take that now. No, they don't. Buddy. She handed me food and just kept going, like, ha. Oh, yeah, she was. Oh. Th that's something. As she, Thank here's you. the thing. As she backed slowly towards the staircase, <laughs> and I was like, this old bitch is going to take a tumble. Maybe she's trying to fix her shoe or something. I don't know. And then she'd be, ow, ow. <laughs> she'd bow, bow, and then ow, ow. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then you call an ambulance now, now. Now, now. Yeah, I, I don't know how to behave around Asians anymore. I feel like, and I don't, I'm not a racist or hateful person. Of course I not. enjoy their food. I was ordering it. Yep. I was celebrating their culture with my stomach, one could argue. You got to celebrate with a bow. How do we behave around them? That's a tough call. You, I don't think you're supposed to bow. I, I, d- I don't I think you're bow. supposed to, Yeah, but I don't think that's... Really? Mm. Don't do it racist. Just do a nice... How do you... White, white people do a nice a head nod. Same thing, you know? When you say, hey, what's up? Uh, how are you? What if I do it? You can't make that noise. That's Ho-ho, Japanese. No, yeah. Ho-ho. You can't go, oh, arigato. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could, but that's good. What do you... Frowned. Uh, <laughs> you can't do any. Uh, no, Don't even make any noise. No just, grunts. Just a bow. Uh, mushy mushy. Mushy mushy. That's the type of their food, I think. I had some Chinese food today. You're saying their food's mushy? No, I thought that was like a like a wonton soup. Isn't thing. that how they answer the phone? Mushy mushy. Mushy mushy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I've never called an Asian. Wow. What? I've never got an Asian. You never called them what? <laughs> I've never called them anything except nice person with, uh, I don't know. Yeah, with what? Yellow skin, with, say whoa, it. Whoa, whoa. Wow. Whoa. Brad Bryan's everybody. No, 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 tonight. no. That's, there it goes. That's great. Um, I drove uh, to Idaho. I did some gigs in Idaho while you were doing gigs in Vegas. Did you have fun in Vegas? Did you, what gigs did you do? I did anything the re- good? I did, I did the rebar. Oh, how is that? I've never even been to that. Oh, you haven't been to it? No. I've been here a week. You've been here how long? And you haven't done it? You don't really go to open mics. I'm not really at I that don't blame level. You. I don't blame you. Two years in, I'm still doing But But, uh, you know, I'm not going to just hang around open mics not making money. Yeah, yeah. I you know, understand. I'm all about dollar, dollar bills. You ever heard of uh, Cardi? Cardi? Cardi B? Sounds like a type of sweater or something? Mm-hmm. Cardigan B? You know Cardi B? She makes money moves? Money moves, no. So like a stripper downtown. That's my sister. That's your sister. Mm-hmm. Isn't she an African? No, it's, I heard it's a good show. The rebar. Uh, yeah, it was. And don't they give some money away to somebody? Isn't it a contest? Yeah, there's like a cash prize. Somebody went up there with uh, with an old computer. You know those big computers, like the big wide ones on his head. Cut what do you whole... mean a big wide one? <laughs> like not a, like a flat screen like this high class stuff with the yeah with the Mac attack. What do you mean? What do you mean a big old computer? Like I'm a, talking like a big computer with like a Tandy TRS eighty, and, and, and he cut a cut a hole in it. You like mean a monitor? A mon- That's what I'm talking about. Okay. A monitor, right? Cut a hole in it. Went on stage telling jokes for out of a computer. Out of the computer, like Max Hedrum. The guy got a standing ovation. Look at this. I can't make this stuff do up. Do you have any other good jokes? Look at it right there. Do you have any? Uh, show it to the camera. Here. The camera. Check it out, folks. Can you see it? <coughs> no. Zoom in on his head. You can't see it? I mean, you can see it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the guy there. Wow. Standing ovation. Standing what, ovation. Do you remember any of the jokes? Uh, he had the cord on with him, plugged into his pants. Was he just like... Uh, and then he's like, okay. what woman would want this? And obviously the cord. Talking about impotency, I guess. Yeah. Which I've never heard of. But uh, funny you, stuff. Oh, your dick the work? Guy, pardon me? Oh, your dick work? On most occasions. Mm-hmm. But uh, this guy, he could tell some jokes. Funny stuff. Really? Everyone, everyone had their phone out. Recording Recording him. them. Laughing. I'd be upset about clapping. that. Clapping. I wasn't, I was in awe. These computers aren't, these jokes aren't ready for prime time computing yet. That's one of his jokes, I think. Oh God! Yeah, it was great. Rebar. I won't, that's all. That's, I was going to do a couple shows tonight, but uh, decided to come to the high class. We had. Uh, oh, I'll use this, use this for uh, uh, time to plug uh, the overdose. Nobody likes onions. dot com slash overdose. Ten dollars a month uh, goes to support this show. Uh, we have an after show from the, the podcast I did in Boise, where we talk about this dork. That showed up at our show to like heckle or harass the show mm. from another podcast. Like we have another podcast that like sends people to shows. Not just me, by the way. They pick on several comedians. This is what they do. Yeah. It's like one of the saddest circle jerks of 
weirdness you've ever seen. Been there. But they sent this guy out to my show to like make fun of me. And we intercepted him and just started filming him. <laughs> and it didn't go well. It didn't go for well. Him. No, for him. he almost Went uh, for you, trembled and broke down. Been there. It was kind of a mental illness state, which gets me to the. Which is, sorry, you're the host. Go ahead. Cru- no, what were you saying? Isn't today like the awareness or something? Today's mental illness awareness day? I, I believe so. Is yeah. that really? I think so. That's what I thought you were going to say. I saw a lot of people posting about that, but I didn't know yeah, it was today. They, they post about it, then they go and cry and stuff and get depressed. Anyway, that show is in the overdose. Please join the overdose. Nobody likes com slash overdose. $10 a month. Support the show. That's how I make money and continue to afford weed. And the electric bill for a fridge that doesn't work. $20 for three months. A lot of stuff. This light up here stopped working. If I turn that on, it just strobes. Uh, not a I've strobe. got a, a smoke detector that's chirping. That has been chirping for six months. Maybe a bird flew in here. Six months, Brad. <laughs> Maybe a bird's been here for six months, flying around, enjoying the My whole life air is condition. just falling apart. Oh, Patrick, take a look around. You're and living then I had dream. a Mexican guy show up at my door today and try to tell me about voting in Spanish. Well, they handed got a vote, too. Handed me this. The Spaniards got a vote. And then he bowed. <laughs> Did he bow? <laughs> no. That would have been amazing. That would have been great. But he just kept asking who I was voting for. And then I could tell that he wanted me to say these two people. Mm -hmm. So I said these two people, and he marked it in an iPad and went, thank you. Really? And left. So I don't know how any of... It's like when Hillary was beating Donald Trump in all the polls, and they're like, how did this happen? It's like, I don't know, because that's how polls are done. Yeah. yeah. A guy who couldn't speak English just just brought a tablet (laughs) to my door. And they lie. Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll vote for them. For our future, Nevada. I like how they put a lot of ethnic people in this ad, but put the white white girls girl front. holding the Down syndrome white girl up front. Yeah. I assume she's That's Down progressive. Syndrome. That's progressive. Like, because there's no... These people don't hang out. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> these maybe, people do not know maybe, maybe on a one bus. another. Probably on a bus somewhere. That's not... But they're not talking to each other. Um, what do you think of America as a Canadian, like, with all this... Because oh. we're on mental health day, and I got to tell you, going to Idaho, yep. getting away from the hustle and bustle of Vegas. the fringe and everything. Oh, and yeah, yeah. It, no, because I haven't been in Vegas, but it's a simple people with a simple life. Up there, you mean? Yeah. Really? They go to work. Everything's cheap. They're drinking. They're working for the weekend. They see friends, mm-hmm. see a movie, mm-hmm. tell each other a joke or two. It's always fun. Go have a beer for cheap. Drinking. Back to work. Working away. Meet a girl. Have a kid or two. Really? Good life. Pickup truck, bumper sticker. Oh, this is starting to sound like my hometown. It's nice. Yeah. I see the appeal of it. But it's, it's, it's hard for somebody like me. Like You're like, Patrick, you just came back from Italy and Germany and England yeah, and Scotland. Yeah, you're posting all kinds of stuff. He, he, okay. Which is great. But I miss my bed, and I miss the simple life, and I want to slow down. And then I go to Idaho, and I see that, and I go, I could do this. I could open Uh, a bait shop. Nah. I could open... I could open a... I'll tell you what I could open. An ice cream place. That sells ice coffee. Uncle Patty's Old Fashioned Scoops. With iced coffee? I'm just grabbing my tits in a photo, and it's called Two Scoops. (laughs) You that's come a, in. That's a million dollar idea. People think it's a breast cancer joke. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. That's the routine. The routine will kill you. Don't you? The routine. Like, how long are you going to try? Like, I've been doing this podcast 15 years. We could wrap it up. Right now? No, you just started. in general. Like, who needs a podcast? Oh, you mean, st- I thought you meant just wrap stop. it up. I got a you know how much plugs? I could get for all the foam? The, foam? the microphones? There's a lot of foam here. <laughs> If I put all this stuff on eBay, and then what? With that gonna, fridge, can open a bake shop in Idaho, no, Boise. Uh, you're not listening. A bait shop. Oh, bait! I thought you said bake. No, ba- I'm not gay. <laughs> no, that's got nothing to do with being gay. I did say an ice cream shop, though. But oh, I ice think cream, there's ice art. Cream. I think there's art in that. Bait, bait shops or ice cream shops? How about this, Patrick's bait and ice cream <laughs> in Boise? How about Patrick's ice cream bait while you wait? Bait while you wait. While your ice cream's being made to order, yep. come get, on over and play some, with the worms. Get some minnows. Get some minnows. Get some leeches. Take some squid. Squid in Idaho? 
That's unheard of. I didn't say this would be in Idaho. Oh, I, oh, K-pop, yeah, right. Brad. This could be any town USA I don't slash know, Canada. Man. Nah, you don't want that. The routine. I'm telling you, I've got, I talked to friends back home. Same. They're in the, the routine same is boring. Well, you know, you do it for. Once you realize, okay, this is it. This is I got. Bait. I got a bait shop. This and feels like about selling ice cream. This sounds like it's about getting married. <laughs> this sounds terrible. Once you realize that this is it. Couple of shit. shit Every morning, kids. I'm gonna wake up and have to. Come into that. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. No, nah, man. Life's all about experiences. That's why you just got traveling. That's the best thing to do. Travel. Yeah, but then what? You know, because I feel like I've seen it all. No, oh, you're just getting started. The only things left on my list are the pyramids and Canada. <laughs> That's quite the... Uh, Maybe Greenland. Greenland. Mm -hmm. You've been to Iceland? No. Well, there you Air go. Here, Greenland's the nice one. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. think it's the other way around. <laughs> I know. Uh, that's the old gag. Uh, well, so what are you telling me? You're going to just I just pack it here's up? Here's the thing. Come on. You're inspiring. On this mental health awareness, wellness pr promotion day. Mm -hmm. Praise Jesus. I just want to say. Yeah. We are living in some of the worst... I, where we're headed oh, as God. a people. Chirp. As a bird. I get, I'm not saying I'm going to do this, so I don't need people calling numbers. I'll call a number right now. I get the allure. Oh, don't say it. Of suicide. Oh, there it is. The fucking bomb drops. I get it. What? You what got two is it? fridges, I mean, man. people get so upset. I have one now. I don't even have, I have one. You know what? I, I have, have one, one fridge and one box that keeps things exactly the same temperature. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, Lord. That's tough. Tough life. Look at all the... Look at everything here. I've never had such good scotch in my life. In the words of one of my closest African-American friends, Play mo time. money, mo problems. Biggie Smalls is your friend? No. My friend tough Al daddy. said that, but... <laughs> I think that's where he got it. Al's a wise man. The point is, th there is a truth to that. I, I believe. You know who 100%. has the... I got home yeah. from this vacation. Mm -hmm. And guess what I have to order a new battery for? Your money count My machine? My Roomba. Your money count machine? My Roomba. Your Roomba. My vacuuming robot. Oh, that is terrible. But you know what? A couple double A's. You know who doesn't have to worry about that? No, it takes a special proprietary battery brand, but enough with your ass attitude. You know who doesn't have to worry about that? Rombas? You. Me. Anybody without a Roomba. I could get a Roomba. I'm not saying you couldn't. I'm saying you don't have one. How do you know? Just the look on your face. I don't even know what a Roomba is. You don't have one fridge. You didn't splurge for a Roomba. That's true. <laughs> to sweep yeah, up the area yeah, yeah. where there is no, no fridge. No fridge. Just I'm saying the this. I would love to not have all this stuff and just jump off a cliff Whoa, and man. watch it all in. This is getting deep. Okay. Well, eventually it would if there was water. <laughs> Listen, man. I'm you're not living the dream. I'm not going to do it. I'll I'm far too much of a pussy. And also, uh, I want to be here to just know that I was right about a lot of stuff. <laughs> you're, you are right. I Except take a picture of my neighbors just to be right. Yeah, you're right. I'm asking people to send me film of Strange Asians I don't know eating food. Yeah. I think they're talented. To be eaters. right. They're very talented eaters. So I'm not going anywhere because I, I sure have hope to be not. right. Don't sell anything, but I'll man. Say, what are you I'm not selling sell anything. You told me you're gonna sell all your stuff and jump off a cliff. I'm just saying I envy the people who have no responsibilities and no worries. You're looking at one right now. That's nice. I like that. You what responsibilities all you gotta worry about is unplugging your fridge when you leave the house. That's about it. And a battery for your Roomba? Oh, Lord. Cry me They're a upwards of $26 on Amazon Cry right me now. a lake. Amazon. What, like books? <laughs> they, sell, they sell batteries on books and batteries. Look, you've made me finish this bottle. Yeah, how long you had that for? A while. So a lovely a, woman bought it for A me. lady brought it over, eh? Let's hear that story. That'll cheer you up. No, she's dead now. Does she sell her stuff and jump off a cliff? No. <laughs> Too much scotch. I never found a body. Um... <laughs> That's the other thing. 
is you got to wonder when it all comes crashing down on you, you know? Never. It can't come crashing down on you if you come crashing down on it. There's the what mental is health it? awareness quote of the day. All of it. I'm just saying, who are we to judge these people who do kill themselves? When uh, that, like, shouldn't you be able to kill yourself if you want out? No. That's Come not on. how you're supposed to go, man. It's not how you're supposed I mean, to I mean, go. I mean, but I mean, we, we, guess what? You're not supposed to live in a house with air conditioning and comfy mattresses either. We built that as creature comforts what we, for humans. What, are we going to build a diving board for a cliff? I'm just saying, some people might find themselves more comfortable on a mattress and with air conditioning, and some people might find themselves more comfortable splattered on a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. Well, you're wrong. When the times get tough, the tough get a watch. But why is this time. mandatory? Uh, why Why do you have to get tough? Because Just roll over. I'll, t- I'll tell you a, a good quote. This is a seri- serious quote. Mm, Very serious quote. Pass. All right. <laughs> no, go ahead. I want to hear this quote. Yeah, I want to know a serious quote. Smooth seas never made for a good sailor. Rising tides raise all ships. Rising, what's that one mean? She can't file rape if it's 14 miles out, maritime law. <laughs> that last this is what, are we just doing Random? YC mantras? YC mantras. What, what, no, what were meaning, you saying? What the meaning of that is. Happy, what'd you say? Hope floats. <laughs> Hope floats. Hope say it float. again. What I said so many that I've forgotten yours. Uh, yeah, so do I. I got to remember the ones. Most rubber are duckies aren't rubber at all, but <laughs> they can float. That's the main thing. A rising tide always heads to the moon. Aim starwards, store borks. Oh, man, it's good scotch. Uh, what I'm trying to say is... Tow, tow your, tow, tow tow, your boat. Tow, the tow line. your boat a stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life, Life is, is all the dreams, all but all the cream. disappointments rolled into one. There's no disappointment there. You know what? I'm this In the past couple months... I've been training myself in here, the brain. Jiu-jitsu. Eh? No, no, no. That's next. Mm. Being positive. you got to think positive. Every, every day, your first thought of the day should be, it's going to be a good day today. What ha- is happening in the world? I don't pay attention to that, that shit. That you... Don't even pay attention You're going to have to, because here's what's going to happen. Oh, don't tell One me. One day, this. you're going to get accused of rape or racism. I'd rather because this is the trend in America. I can see it going where every man. That's why I'm going to Canada today. Every man yeah. in the world gets accused of rape or racism because that's where we're headed in America, at least. You think so? Oh yeah. Well, I better get a taxi, I guess. From Jorge. Why didn't now? Why didn't you get a Uber or Lyft? Because I had all that. I uh, got some American money. I want to. Yeah, but you can just trade that in for your money. Yeah, I never thought of that. You're like the third person I've heard say this, like, hey, I got a lot of American money and I'm leaving tonight, so I might as well just blow it on well, needless things. Well, no, because then when you go to the bank and you say, and then they charge you for changing it over because they got to go to a different safe. How about you uh, sign a dollar for a dollar wall? Yeah, I'll sign a dollar. How many dollars you got up there? Enough for a new fridge? Well, I don't have them all up there because I've run out of, of uh, the and board backing. I need to go buy some more. Enough for a new fridge? Or? So you got to do it right here on the thing so we can prove it. you did it. So do I got to provide the dollar? This is like a notary. Yeah, you, this no, podcast costs a dollar. I you, only get tens. One get, minute ago, you said, I have so much money. I've got tens and I 20s. paid a cab driver to drive around the block 30 times. You know what? This lady held on to my bag today, and I gave her, gave her a dollar. I shouldn't have done it. So now I have to give you a dollar. I've got tens and 20s. Want me to sign a 10 or nope, a 20? I want a dollar. I don't have unless you have so many. Unless you have so many tens and 20s. I'm Canadian. So you just want to get rid of them. We do have a 20 up there and a 10 up there. Oh, who did that? Joe Rogan or something? Ballers. Not me. What do I, can I plug my show? Yeah, we weren't leaving. I, don't have I a, just I don't have, have a, a great idea. What's your great idea? You sign this Front? dollar. Because oh, we were Abe talking Lincoln. about money. Hey, Blinken's up there, eh? What's that, a, a $30 bill? It's a, that's a five. What do I do? Uh, like you can sign do whatever or? you want. You can sign it. You can decorate it. You can do both. That's a pretty rough signature. So I'll just sign it, like so people can read my well, name. Do, yeah, do whatever you want to do. I mean, it's uh, your. D- isn't this? Hey, before we before we f- go forward with it, isn't this it's against the law? Very lot? illegal. Is it? Yeah, you might never be allowed back in the country. That's my third strike. What were you the first two? Jaywalking, two times in a row. Same road. 
I, you, got, I got lost and turned You back. walked across, the cop called you over, and you walked back? <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, two that's there, young bad buck. luck. That's two, young buck. That's just bad luck. Speaking of bad luck, I'm a horrible gambler. Why? What happened? I just kept getting 13s. 13, 13, 13, everywhere, every car, every I car. I think he did fine. No, and then I just stayed. Wait, why I, would you stay on a 13? Because you don't want to go over, overboard. The odds are a you're... A 13 gonna, is a loser. Yeah, but if you hit, you're probably going to get a 10. Odds are you're, you're going to get a 10. You're probably going to get a 10, but you also can't stay on a 13. Well... You're probably going to get beat. Well, that's something to learn for next time, I guess. Well, didn't they tell you to hit? No, they were all Asian. There's... Wow, did you get any footage of a meeting? No, they weren't eating, they were smoking. A lot of smokers. A lot of smokers. I can't believe, that's what my buddy said down here. I can't believe everyone's walking around. I was completely off the cigarettes before I left for Europe. Edinburgh. I go to Edinburgh, everybody's, my friend Mikey and all these guys smoke. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just back in it. And now I'm back here. Did you quit? Time to get back on the Jewel Pod. I do the Jewel. The Jewel Vape. So like a don't worry app? about it. Is that an app? It's just a way to kill yourself. Oh, don't do it. Oh, God. Here we oh go. my God. You just can't, you just think I'm you a, would blame yourself if it happened tonight? I'm not, I don't think I'm going to leave. I'm going to cancel my flight and stick around. What if I told you if you don't? If I don't? I'd kill myself tonight. If I don't leave? Yep. That sounds familiar. I think my ex-girlfriend told me that. No, if you leave. <laughs> oh, if I leave? Yeah. You won't? If you go anywhere tonight, if you leave this apartment tonight, I'd kill myself. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a $400 on, and flight. And on mental man. health day, do you know what this would do to your career? You'd either launch it <laughs> or you'd never I'll, work I'll, again. I'll be, I'll be taking over. No Comedian way tells friend live on podcast, don't leave me today. I can't bear it. I might kill myself. Well, on I, National Mental Health Awareness. Can I make a few phone Eve. calls? Because <laughs> my mom's coming and to And then I up. die horribly. I, like, let's just say I was practicing my bowels and backed up too far onto the staircase. <laughs> totally like the way like Go from bow bow to ow ow. <laughs> and then I die now now. How now brown cow, yep. And then you land in Toronto just thinking, hoo, 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 and Can't you get one me. of those new presidential alerts that somehow goes to you for some yep, reason. Yep, yep. A tweet, probably a that's tweet. That's how full of himself Trump is. Well, you know, I'll stick around there, Patrick, but I don't think... Uh, that's going to happen. Lord, say a prayer before I leave in Spanish. So in case it's well, guess Spanish what? God down here, I don't know. I'm going to make a video of, my, of me blowing my brains out. Jesus. Where I say. It's dark, man. This is for Brad Bryan. <laughs> That's fucked up. This is for Brian Bradley. And then they'll never trace it Brian back to Bradley. you. <laughs> People call me that in Toronto. They fuck my name all the time. Well, you have two first names. Not really. Brad, Brad Bryan's. There's an S on the end. Yeah. Bryan's. With an S. I know, but like that, like have you had a like a cute Jersey girlfriend? That's how she pronounced it. Like, I love you, Brian. Jersey? Yeah, like New Jersey. Never been. That's how they are. No. Like they just they make words plural. Like I've been watching uh, Jersey Shore Family Reunion. Uh, why are you doing that? That's going to make you blow your brains out. I'm all about Snooky's cookies. <laughs> this little piggy had roast beef. <laughs> the point is. They add S's to words all the time, like, I'm ready for snacks. It's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm missing Lauren's. Yeah. It's time to go outs. They're weird. Outs? They're weird. They put the S on the end. Outs. Yeah. No, I've never been, never been, and I will never watch Jersey Shore. Well, that's fine. Um, so you uh, you have any other stories you want to talk about? Get me off. Get me out of my funk. Talk me down. Talk you down? Talk you up. Do you Patrick, see, you're a great guy. Do you want to see how Kanye behaved? On Saturday Night Live? I've been, I've been hearing a lot, of, a lot of stories about that character. Have you heard this guy? He's an artist. I, you, As a Canadian, you, you can't play dumb with me because I don't know what's real and what's not. You know what I heard? A minute he, ago, you told me you all buy each other's coffee every day, and if you didn't, it was sacrilegious. Bre- breaking the chain? That's that's five to ten right there. Uh, I don't know what to fucking believe. But you know who Kanye West and his wife, Kim Kardashian, are? Kim, Kim, Kim. Kim Kardashian with the big ass. You know this woman. Not ringing any bells. Please tell me you're joking. Kim Kardashian, from from keeping up with the, the whores. Yes, I've kept <laughs> up with the whores. First of all, not today. 
not on National Mental Health Wake Up Get Woke Day. Wake Up Get Woke. I don't know the name of the day. You told me it was the day, and now I'm yeah. It's all over Facebook. People are saying, you know. Um. Yeah, let's watch Kanye there. What's he doing? Okay, sixty well, nine. He did. He did Saturday Night Live. Hosted it, and he dressed up like a giant uh, Perrier bottle, a water bottle. What? Is he sponsored? No, he just dressed like a water bottle, and and Kid Cudi dressed like a a Fiji water bottle. His kid was on there. Yeah. Oh, and then at the good. end of, he was hosting Saturday Night Live, or he wasn't even hosting Saturday Night Live, he was a musical guest. An artist. And then at the end of the show, he just start. he wore a Make America Great Again hat. Yep. yep. Which pisses a lot of blacks off. That's it? Yeah, because he's like the head black. He's not the head black. Who is Obama? No, no. Close <laughs> who's second. Close who's second. the head black? Denzel. Daryl Strawsbury. <laughs> What do you mean Denzel? Denzel is the head black in my books. No, no, no. Who has more Twitter followers, Kanye or Denzel? I don't know. I don't follow either of them. Right. I don't know Denzel. Who makes Twitter. more money? Probably Denzel. Not now. Have you seen Man on Fire? Not now. Na- Man on Fire? Yeah. What year is this? Well, we don't... When did that come out? I know you probably just got it on VHS <laughs> in Canada. What are you talking about, Man on Fire? Man on Fire, man. Great movie. You yeah. Know, when he goes down to... Have you seen John Q. Public? Mm-hmm. John Q. Public. Oh, yeah, yeah, John Q. with the kid. What about flight? The heart. That's another good one. Speaking of flights, I got a flight to catch. What he time landed that airplane upside down. <laughs> he landed it upside down. It's nowhere near your flight. We've done an hour. You know, what, you know what I used to think podcasts were? What? You just go. I used to think when I did my first podcast, I thought you'd just go in there and do your material for like five minutes, and that was it. So I walked into the studio. I was like, hey, no. guys, how's it going? Oh. They were like, what's going on, Brad? I was like, hey, man, thanks for having me. So you just want me to do, like, just five minutes, like a tight five on my material? Or they are like, what? I was like, yeah, I got all my jokes lined up. I got my set, set list. They're like, no, man, you got to be here for, like, an hour and a half. I was like, shit. I have all my jokes lined up. I didn't up. know. I, I thought you'd just do jokes. No, you just one. talk. Just talk normal. That's yeah. going great. Yeah. But that's, that's a story for my first you podcast. It. You've done a lot of good things today. You think so? You talked me down from my suicide. You can call me anytime. And you got a lot of no, followers you're here. Gonna be on, you're going to be on five hours on a flight. I'm not going to be able to call you. Then what, Brad? I'll get a walkie-talkie. Long range. Then what, Brian's? Over, over. <laughs> don't do it. Over, over. I like that you think a, a walkie-talkie would work from the plane. You never know. You guys got the high-tech stuff down Do you think that here? the pilots talk to the ground on walkie-talkies? They should. I don't know. Did I'll you ever ask. have a walkie-talkie? I did. As a kid? Yep. One of the good ones? Or like a shit? It was pretty rough. It was, uh, like a was shit it? kit. It was like a, a cup, toy. Cup and a string. No, did you ever have like a real like walkie-talkie kit as a kid? No. Like they, they never worked well. We just texted each other. You always see, but you see, you ever seen Stranger Things? Nope. Like they're turning on a walkie-talkie and talking to each other across town. Like I never had a walkie-talkie that good. Well, I'd be range. lucky if it worked around the house. That's true. Like 40 feet. They were shit. Just yell. They took a double A. Same battery as a Roomba. <laughs> What's going on with Kanye West here? Let's take a look at this. He character. did a, a, a pro-Trump speech. This is oh, it. God. Look at that black guy. China, China, He's China, shaking his head. China. You see they laughing at me. Also, I can't. I'm already angry enough about the way this is filmed. What Will you people... And that doesn't mean anybody particular. What? Canadians? Anybody. That's racist. The people who film videos in this tall screen format. Yep, I do that. Cut it out. What, do you flip it? If you... If the new fucking Jurassic Park came out filmed that way, you would lose your shit. Yeah, but then you gotta tilt your head and watch it like that the whole time. How's that even any better? No, then Sorry, it would man. be. Then it would take up the wide. Yeah, but it would be. Or you got to lock your screen. No, you just film it the correct way. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. You're never supposed to film anything like this. I'm not very high tech. You got to film like this. Yeah, pictures up and down for Snapchat. And stuff no, down. if you're taking your photos just for Snapchat, you're severely limiting yourself. Think so? You can do better. I'm deleting Snapchat. I'm getting old. 
Anyways. Snapchat's losing uh, hella listeners. It's because Instagram. They bullied me. They bullied me backstage. They said, don't go out there with that hat on. They bullied me backstage. They bullied me. And then they say, I'm in a sunken place. You want to see the sunken place? Okay. I'm going to listen to y'all now. I'm going to put my Superman cape on. Because this means you can't tell me what to do. Follow your heart and stop following your mind. That's how we're controlled. That's stop following your mind. <laughs> this, That's a terrible this makes advice. no sense. That's terrible advice. Because then he wouldn't. If I followed my heart, I'd kill myself tonight. <laughs> oh, fuck. You got to follow your mind. No, your heart Kanye. wants to keep beating. No, my mind says that's stupid. Don't do that. My heart says let it go, Patrick. Put your face in the oven and crank it to high. That's a terrible way to go. <laughs> what the fuck? Curl up in your washing machine and try to drown yourself on the spin cycle. Oh, my Lord. Trap yourself in that refrigerator that you know doesn't what? work before and I, bungee before, shut the door before closed. Before I leave, I'm unplugging all of your appliances. Do you think I can't plug them back in? We'll have a finish that scotch and it'll be out. How advanced do you think my diabetes is that I can't get up and plug <laughs> things back in? <laughs> No, oh, you got to follow your mind. This I is insane advice to tell people. I Stop listening to your mind. Listen to your heart. Is that what like that's, that's crazy. Heart, you can't listen to your heart. You can, but you need to balance it with information and facts. No, well, I don't know, man. This, I've never seen How this. is Kanye simultaneously saying slavery was a choice, supporting Donald Trump, and still... Hosting Saturday Night Live. How does he do this speech, which they told him he couldn't do, and he just does that anyway, and still get invited back? Don't invite this weirdo back anymore. He's weird. I, I bet you they got a lot of, lot of publicity, a lot of views. I bet he kills himself. We're programmed. <laughs> if you want the world to move forward, try love. Thank y'all for giving me this platform. I know some of y'all don't agree. Pete Davidson is hiding his face. And I don't think it's actually that helpful. I think the universe has balance. 90% of news are liberal. 90% of TV, LA, news. This is like a church service. I think it's scripted. Musicians. Is he reading off the teleprompter? So it's easy to make no. it seem like it's so, so They cut this so when it made it to the West Coast feed. Like, this only aired on the East Coast Live. Really? But by the time it got to the West Coast feed, it was not in. Because everyone was putting their heads in ovens. I thought this country said I could be me. Watch everybody just walk off I in the back, the like, SNL cast. Look at them. Watch them right here just walk up. So bring the band back. See him just walking off. Pete? Yeah, just leaving. They're all just leaving. So that's what Kanye is doing. This was Saturday night? This was uh, a week ago. Live? Yeah, that's when they do it. They do it live now. God. Well, thank you. This Lord. is what I'm saying, though. Between the Brett Kavanaugh, he raped me, no, I didn't. I don't want to give a fuck about any of this it sounds like you don't i don't watch tv i didn't even how are you not plugged into the world you have to be i i used to i, not, heard, I don't give a fuck don't get me wrong i give zero fucks none of this really affects my life not at all but what it affects is when i go out and meet people who think that all this matters nothing matters. i don't all news. this nothing matters now you're talking to me to kill myself <laughs> oh, wow nothing, no 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 nothing, wow nothing, everybody no 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 no, no, no. No, no, nothing like this. Matters. I'm singing Metallica. Nothing else matters, you know. Nothing else matters but listening to your your heart and not your mind. You, you want? Think there's, you think there's people that actually believe what he said that night? Here's where I know, here's where I think we're at. You want another sign that it's over and we should all just follow the lemmings into the sea? Come on, man. Who's one of the best bands of all time? The best Icon bands. Iconic. Led Zeppelin. Before Rolling Stones. Before them and bigger. Bigger th before them and bigger. Yeah, I can't. You may not be your thing, but a big, the biggest band. Before them. Arguably the biggest, most popular band at the height of the 
all the bands. Okay. The Traveling Wilburys. Yes. Yeah. I was going to say the Hollies. Um, no, the Beatles. Oh, the Beatles. Yep, yep. Okay. Heard of them. One of those guys decides one day in New York City on a stoop to take his own life. Huh? I rewrite history a bit. <laughs> a bit? A gun goes into his body. <laughs> a bang, bang. He's yeah, dead. He got shot. His wife. Yoko. Whose name is perfectly. Oh, no. Has released a new album. Has she? Called War Zone. And there's a, a track on it that I think you should know about. Mm -hmm. Called Imagine. Oh, Lord. Yoko Ono has covered John Lennon's song, Imagine. I can't imagine. This is what's happening with the millions of dollars left to this evil woman. Mm -hmm. She has, for 40, 50 years, wandered this earth. Mm -hmm. Again, I love footage of her eating something. If anybody could catch Yoko Ono eating something. I'd bow to Yoko. And if Roy Johnson's still listening, he'll identify with this. This is, this is it imagined right by Yoko Ono. All right. The new version on her new album called War Zone. This was the start of Warner Bros or something? Imagine there's no heaven. This is not Come a live on, cut. This is the album. It's easy. If you try version, a hundred percent real. Be lost. I wish I was lying to you. Did you make this? Above us on this sky. Above us? How have you not learned English yet? <laughs> Imagine all the people. She's screaming. What the fuck? Living for today. Imagine there's no countries. I mean, you can tell it's like sung in it bits and pieces and then like timed do. out and she edited had, together. She <laughs> like, had, she had the read. Nothing to kill or die for. This is fucked up, man. I know. Album version. Religion too. Can you imagine ever putting this on to chill too? Imagine to? all oh. the people. Can you imagine putting this on, on in your car? Can you imagine putting this on in your car? Life to just in peace. That's when you drive off a cliff. Roll down your windows and just jam out to this. You may say I'm a dreamer. I would. A hundred dollars to the first person to get me uh, footage of her eating. I'll throw I'll throw in fifteen for that. Uh, now, this is the title track of the album called War Zone, just to give you an idea of her original work. Because mm -hmm. you're like, Patrick, maybe she's not good at adapting a hit. It's hard to follow up the original Imagine. Of course. Couldn't imagine. Of course. We already said that. This is an original song. War Zone. I'm going to skip to one minute in so you can hear when it really kicks in. It's a war zone. The single on the Men album. Are you fucking with me? Balls. Nope. Woman looking like Barbie dolls. Wake up, wake up, hold your life. You're out to chill, out to kill. War zone. <laughs> War zone. War zone. It's War zone. Guy stealing zillions gets away. While we knock each other to make our day. Okay. All so right. there you go. Uh, yeah, this is this is this is sad. You just made me sad. Um don't blame me. I'm usually a happy guy. What she got for six thousand thumbs down? What? Six thousand some thumbs uh, down. Uh yeah, five point nine thousand thumbs down, two point one up, hundred and thirty one thousand views. Good lord. So that's uh, what she's doing with that money. I think she's on the drugs. She's on the drugs. You don't do that. You have sober. to be surrounded by a team of people. A team. Yeah. Like she has record people 
and then like producers and like an agent. It's probably just her name that carries you through that. And then they all sit around and go, yes, sounds good. <laughs> Warzone, is it? <laughs> Top of the charts. Oh, you want to re-record Imagine? That's clean. That sounds nice. Like, that's a good tribute. <laughs> yeah. Um, a mad woman. It sounds like a homeless person. I've I've heard better on Fremont Street. Fremont? Fremont. Las Fer- Vegas Boulevard. Fremont Street. Fremont Street. Oh, boy. I've heard better singers on Fremont uh, Street. What do you say we wrap up, Brad? Yeah, I got a flight to catch. You got a flight to catch. Yeah. You got babies to shake and hands to steal. Hands and I got, a, steal. I got a self to kill. Oh, God. You know what? I'm sticking around. Forever. Nobody likes onions. Uh, you have Speaking anything you want to plug? You got some stuff? You got uh, uh, social media? I'll be you at got Yuck Yucks. Snapchat? I'll be at Yuck Yucks. It's a real club. It's a real club. Yeah. For the amateur night. Mm. October 20th. Any of your listeners from Canada? Toronto? Nope, none. <laughs> Not one? <laughs> yeah, of course. Really? Of course we have listeners in Canada. How, how can I, I stop that? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no. Nope. I got a show, uh, show Yuck Yucks. Got a show at the Underground, Toronto. That's a marijuana smoking place. Is it where can they just find a November list of shows? 9th. I don't know. You I'm, tweet I'm, these? Do you, should I tweet? You snap them? I've only got like 20 followers on Twitter. Oh, don't worry about it then. Delete Maybe. that. Should I? I would delete it. I'm ready to delete it all and end it. Okay, we're going to have a serious talk. You know what course. I don't like is when you die and they turn your Facebook into remembering. It'll say like remembering Patrick Melton. Do they? Yeah. Really? It's creepy as fuck. Like your family has to get in touch and like provide a death certificate, I think, and then they are mark. They like just archive it to Zuckerberg. But it's creepy because well, people will happen. come back every year on your birthday and write like "Happy Birthday" on your wall. So your whole wall just keeps getting it's just buried in garbage. Well, that's not going to happen for a long time. I want for Patrick Melton. Well, your plane could crash tonight, and I could oh, crash into the, no. Come on. I could be the one who brings it down into my don't face. Bring, don't bring this bad voodoo on I want to kill myself I'm with your body man. and the bodies of 180 other passengers. <laughs> this is Mental Health Awareness Day, folks. We hope you're, you're all happy. Look out. You're all Canada happy. Canada Air Flight 286. 1853. It's going to go great. Uh, oh, you're so I, dead. We're all dead. No, we're not. Um... Any other things you need to... I'd like to, to say thank you very much for no, having me No, thank you for on. coming and popping in. It's been great. It's been great. I gotta catch an Uber. No, I'm gonna give you a ride. I have a car. Oh, you do? Yeah. You're a good friend. You're, you're spending twenty dollars. You signed a dollar bill here that cost me a dollar. Is that a good signature? No, you wrote your name in block letters. I don't know how to do lowercase. I could have got anybody to do that. You could at least draw a mustache on Washington. No, you don't mess with that guy. Draw a dick. A dick on Washington. That's what a, a, draw. A, that'll bring uh, the plane down. Draw a, a crying cat emoji. I'm not that good of an artist for you drawing. Not do good whiskers? Whiskers? No whiskers. You don't do good whisker work? <laughs> I'll be at Yuck Yucks in Underground. I'm, I'm a joke teller. Um, I tell jokes. I'll be doing a uh, morning show called PM in the AM. Patrick Melton in the AM. Really? Tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning. Really? Tune in. We're going to discuss in detail. Yoko Ono? No. Pro bono. Oh, no. Pro bono. I mean, bono. honestly, but that, like, f- find me one good thing happening in the world. Why should I save myself? There's no Tim Hortons. No one's buying my coffee. Yoko Ono's pumping out hits and ruining them. <laughs> hits. That's not a hit. Imagine was a hit. She's ruined it. That's, yeah. No, she you hasn't know? ruined it because there isn't even. My only friend's Washington. leaving me and going to Toronto. I don't even have a podcast. That was just great. lonely. You're doing great. You got lots of fans. I'm sure they commented all day. I don't know who to vote for. I've got to read through a brochure. It's mostly in Spanish. Yeah, learn Spanish. Votación Temprana. That's Rosetta Stone. Talk to her. She'll fix you up. Her name is Rosetta Stone. No, that's the lady who teaches you Spanish. Oh, hello. I'm Rosetta Stone. <laughs> that's my new character. <laughs> oh, God. Am I sober enough to drive? I don't know, man. Maybe maybe you should just fine. go have a nap. Feel I just got to be sober enough to not... Drive off a cliff. Until I drop you off. Once I drop you off, why do you care if I drive straight into a 757? Break through a the fence. An airplane? Shut down the airport. You know, that'd be pretty I break badass. through the fence. That'd be badass if you're going to do that. Die Hard 2 style. Let me get I bring it on. down the whole airport. Let me get it on. He's out on the tarmac. <laughs> Delays your flight. Well, good thing you're not an Uber driver. Well, we're all dead anymore.
No, I'm not. But I tell you what, I I took an Uber home from the airport. Yeah. I got an Uber uh, or Lyft. I took a Lyft. Yeah. Seven, which is the same thing. Self-driving car. Now you're talking crazy. Self-driving Lyft popped up and said, would you be interested in taking a ride in a self-driving car? I was like, yes. You wouldn't do this? That's scary, man. Yeah. Well, guess what? Let's talk about it. Guess how many drivers the self-driving car has? Two. What? There are two fucking employees sitting up front. Driving? No. Just watching. <laughs> yes. Yeah. How is this saving anybody money? Well, they're just testing them out, I guess. Yeah, one person's like sitting there so that she can slam on the brakes <laughs> or take control of the car if she needs to. The other person is navigating slash auditing they're, the entire they're, process. They're in the trial run. I Let me tell you how it was. It was fine, but it was like some annoying grandmother was driving. I wanted to be like, okay, go. <laughs> like, it's so super safe. <laughs> <laughs> like how it calculates everything out too much. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to do that. It's going to whim. It's just turning really slow and just being. Well, that's pretty fascinating. Let's let's be honest. There's something that's cool. Well, I man. get it. I couldn't have built it out of Legos. <laughs> but also, you know, now that I've seen it, I feel like I'm ready to die. Oh god. Good night, everybody. Sweet sleep. Sweet. Never give up. Sweet angels. What am I trying to say? Sweet dreams, my tired, naked little angels. Is that? That's, that's fair. Uh, we'll have more shows for you soon. Uh, stay close to your grandmas while they sleep.